Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today it is finally time for the big one, the 100 victory crate opening on the channel. This is going to be super exciting and by the time you're watching this, I'll actually be in Iceland for Valentine's Day things. So, you know, that's going to be super exciting. But before I open the crates, I want to give a massive shout out to Lolga. Now, basically, they made this video possible. They are sponsoring this particular video, this two-part series. I'm going to do the 100 crate opening and then the trade-ups in a separate video in a couple of days to kind of ease the pressure off on me while I'm in Iceland. So, massive shout out to Lolga. I'm going to replay the little intro that I made a while ago for them. Um, and if you want to check them out, then you can do that. Before we do continue this video, I want to give a massive shout out to Lolga.com. A lot of you know who they are for sponsoring this video. You can go over to their website. You can buy gift cards for PSN, Steam, and even the Nintendo Switch. They've got a really expansive site with very helpful and responsive live chat. So thank you so much, Lolga, for sponsoring the video. You can check their link out in the description. That's going to do it for now. I hope you all enjoy the video. But without further delay, it is time to open the 100 victory crates. Now, it's weird. Uh, YouTuber's luck hasn't been that great for a lot of people this crate round. Like, for me, it's been better than it's ever been on updates. You know, I got white Infiniums. First of all, do black Infiniums exist, by the way? I've seen, like, pictures, but is that an alpha console thing? I mean, it wouldn't make sense for them to exist because it would just be a black wheel, which is kind of strange. But either way, I I'm not entirely sure. But uh, we also got the mystery decal which ended up being Stormwatch, and I've seen other videos by, like, uh, The Camping Russia and John, and, and I don't think they really got anything, and Phantom Ace commented on my last video saying he was jealous, and honestly, it's been great, and the support you showed on the last two videos was insane. They both hit over 2,000 likes, which is what inspired me to get these 100 crates, so if you want to see more videos like this one, then as always, be sure to leave a like on it to show your support. Sit back, relax, maybe pause the video now, get some food, some drink, and chill, because this video isn't going to be as highly edited as my other videos, because like I said, I'm going away on holiday, I've got so much to do, uh, and this takes the load off. It's going to be chill, relaxing, and opening some crates. Now, what do I want from these crates? Not an 18, that's for sure. Um, but what do I want? So I've got Stormwatch, which is granted my least favorite mystery decal, but that's fine. I've got the white Infiniums and the Balakara wheels. I'm not really sure. Are you, I, my first initial thought was, wow, they're insane. Like, there's so much going on. But I'm less excited about them now. I've already had the white werewolf. The painted tune sketches look good. I think I got a green one. Um, and same with the Tsunami Beam, I got painted one of those. But honestly, we're going for one of these three. I really like the tune, it looks clean, it looks good. Um, so we're almost, we've almost got what I want from this crate already. And we, I've only opened, so far, before this video, 70... Yeah, I think 70 crates. Um, it took me 300 velocity crates to still not get what I wanted and actually give up and buy Dueling Dragons. That's the first time a crate has shafted me that badly. Um, so the Victory Crate has definitely been good to me and the, the best to me, it seems, out of everyone making videos on it. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that. So let's see if we can continue the current trend. Maybe we, maybe we will just get rares all the time. Uh, and there are a few people, because obviously in my last video, I got a mystery decal. Uh, I didn't know what it was until I landed on the space and it turned around. Um, but obviously you can see every black market in the crate. And um, I'm wondering, can you actually land? Because I haven't seen, I haven't really seen many victory crate openings. Can you land on the black market? Or will it always be a mystery decal and you can just see the preview of what you can get in the crate? Like, if that makes sense. If any of you know that, if you've seen someone land on a black market decal that wasn't a mystery in this crate, then let me know down in the comments, because I'm curious. Will it always be a mystery decal? Uh, where you can see the previews as well, which I think would be a cool idea, but I'd like it if they mixed up and did both, because then it makes a mystery decal, I, I guess, even more exciting. And I've also seen a few people say you can't get a painted ripped comic, and granted, I haven't seen it. Can you get this painted or not? Uh, okay, that's certified. Hmm, nice looking little car, though. Um, so yeah, that's my little explosive ramble for the first five crates. I usually always find things to talk about. Um, like, for instance, like the, the video grind. I'm filming this on Saturday, and to my knowledge... Okay, it's a nipper wheel. It's a painted nipper wheel. I like that. I'm, I'm cool with that. I, there was lag. I froze for a bit. Could have been anything, but it was granted the worst. It kind of matches my car, though, right? That's 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 all right. Um, <laughs> the luck's just crazy, man. Um, but basically, it's Saturday while I'm filming this, so currently no one's done a 100 crate opening. I think I was also the first to do a 50 like video crate opening. Um, tsunami beam. Let's go. That's good for trade ups. Um. And so basically today, uh, what I've what I've got to do today, I've got to make a thumbnail. All right, I'll just talk you through my schedule for today and how busy it is. So Sunday, I'm getting my stuff together and then leaving very early Monday morning. So um, basically, the Wednesday and Thursday, I recorded Gfinity tournament videos and a Fortnite video. Friday, I spent the entire day in London, back-to-back -back imports like that, the entire day in London at the Gfinity Arena, recording a sick video that would have went up on the channel yesterday, which if you haven't watched, go watch it. It's the best video I've ever made, ever period. It's insane. Um, I've got to make the thumbnail for Saturday's video still, because uh, I haven't done that. I've then got to film, edit, render, upload this video, do the same for the trade-ups, do the same for edit both tournament videos today. 
uh, for Gfinity, which is going up tomorrow and Friday. And then I've also got to edit a Fortnite video that I recorded ages ago that's going to go up on Thursday. And make all the thumbnails, upload them all, schedule them all, and title them all. It's such a grind today. I've not had a day like this in a long time. It's weird, like, my life has got busy so quick all of a sudden. January was a little bit slow, but then boom, this one week, it's crazy. Uh, the week before I go to Iceland is like the final weeks of Gfinity. I'm going to London to record. The Rocket League update comes out. The Fortnite update comes out. Everything happens just before I'm about to leave. So this week has been the busiest YouTube week ever. And when I get to when I get done today and tomorrow and actually do go to Iceland, hopefully that traveling will go smoothly and the excursion and everything and it's, it's as good as I hope the trip is going to be. I'll really be able to relax because I'll have videos prepared and it'll be a well-deserved break. And it's not like it's like a two-week like lounge. It is just like a 3D sort of 3D? Three-day active holiday break. And I'm really looking forward to it. So um yeah, that, <laughs> that's my life. That's my Saturday. It's super busy. Um, what, like, currently today, I've just accomplished, like, finished editing the vlog that went out yesterday and finished editing the tournament video that's actually rendering right now that's going up tomorrow. Um, it's busy. It's so busy, but I love being busy. I love being active. I actually haven't eaten today. I probably should do that, <laughs> but uh, how can you when you just got crates to open? Mr. Monsoon. Not about that. We're going to do a drink water crate. I'll wait. I'll wait for the crate. Obviously, with the 100 crate opening, you do chuck in the superstitions, you know? Let's go. Uh, boom. <clears throat> okay. A funny book. Oh, literally in the last video. Although we got started off with Titanium White Infiniums, we got four funny books in a row, followed up with three Mr. Was it Mr. Monsoon? Is that what it's called? Mr. Monsoon. Yeah, three of those in a row. Not what you want, you know? But hey. Let's see if we can keep going. Come on. There's so much that can happen in 87 crates. It could be this crate. Bam. Mr. Decal. You know what I mean? Uh, nipper wheels. All right. They, see, they look so bright. I was surprised at how similar the white looks to the original. But, like, like, they do look very, very similar. Um, still a, a tiny bit cooler. Like I said before, if I had to choose between the white or the normal, I'd choose the white. But nothing to get hyped about. But genuinely, 2018 has been the year of titanium white for me. I never got white. I got... I might have got white Dracos, but I think that might have even been blind trading. And I got um, stuff like, you know, white Lobos, white fidget spinners, white turbines, those sort of things. But nothing big. But 2018, I've had like four white Zombas, three white Dracos, white Infiniums, the white Werewolf. And that's all been in one month. Like, 2018 has been the year of titanium white for me. <laughs> it's been crazy. Um, let's go. It all started with winning those white Zombas from Mr. Tryhard, which was... Which was sick. And then obviously uh, when I get back from Iceland, it gives me a lot more time to focus on my fitness again. Which I've delayed doing so much. And and it, it, it's just life does get in the way. And it is, you do need a, like, I like to have like a foreseeable structured future to start a routine. And knowing that I had this busy week where working out would be difficult. And then a week away, which would be basically impossible to work out. It didn't motivate me at all in my mind to, to start doing it again. So when I get back, it's going to be great. I'm loving it. So, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to relax. Let the crates talk for themselves. Because, to be honest, someone's probably put the times in the description or the comments, rather, of the good stuff. So, not many people will actually see this part, I'd imagine. Unless we get a sick mystery here, which is going to happen. Maybe a black market. Toon sketch. I do. Uh, Toon sketch is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see what it's going to be. Okay, normal. It, like, it looks cool. It does look cool. It is a bit trippy. But, hey, I like it, I, to be honest. Okay, so we're a fifth of the way through, and it's just been a few imports. No exotics, no no black markets, but that's for a 100k opening, that's quite normal, I think. It's weird, like, when I'm only opening 20, I always seem to get an exotic or a black market or something. But when I'm opening 100, the first 20, there's not usually a lot to talk about. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Come on. I'm ready for this. And it's cool, like, I feel like the, the community is genuinely behind this crate, and if... If this crate didn't come out with this update, like, it would be a dead update. Like, just a season update where it feels like the ranks are all messed up. If you watch my video on Saturday, like, it just... The ranking system doesn't make any sense, especially based on what they said. And if it was just that update where it's a soft reset, where, like, we're basically in the same rank and it's, like, a whole other season where we're in the same place as before, this update would not be as hype as it is. So, generally, I think they've done actually good with this crate. And the items in it are all good. You know, they're very... Very different, very well thought out. Like, just look at these. Like, this is a good crate. One of the best. So, yeah. <coughs> My throat, man. This is the problem with recording without eating <coughs> in a day. Come on. 
You're nearly a quarter of the way through. I'm not going to look. Come on. Give us something sick with this superstition crate. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, the certified Mosha. That is... That hurts. <laughs> that hurts a lot. Come on, boys. Come on. Rocket League Gods, I know you've been there for me recently. You've really sorted me out. Psyonix, please. Just... Give us some good luck. Just show us this is a painted if you're listening to me right now, okay? And that will, that will relax me for the rest of the crate opening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rocket League. You're always there for me. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Like, see, the two sketch painted looks so good. Oh, uh, what do we got? What color is it? It's lime. Yes. Okay, so we know officially that uh, Psyonix is listening because they uh, sorted us out right there. So... <coughs> that relaxes me. I can sit back, relax, and enjoy the crate opening now because I know someone is going to sort me out. I know they're listening to me. They first of all made an import. I then requested it be painted, and they came through. So I'm cool with that. I kind of, it's weird saying, when I said that, I just knew it would be painted. Like, that's just my luck. I knew it would be painted. I don't know. I, I don't know. But either way, let's see what we got coming up here. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, the Mosher. I mean, it's all right. Reminds me of like a Rodal book, the Mosher decal. You know what I mean? Just the way, the way they look. Come on, I gotta get a big cough out. <coughs> <coughs> I'm actually dying, man. What is this? <coughs> okay. Oh snap! Trigon was right there, and the funny book is what we got. It's not very funny, to be honest. Let's start on the tomb sketch. Why not? Okay. That's cool. I know Sionix are listening, as I said, so... It is what it is. A werewolf? I like that. Okay, we should have... With the luck we've got so far, we could possibly have, like... End up with three or four, maybe even five import trade-ups tomorrow. Um, which would be really cool I mean, to end on that. Like, you'd expect at least one painted wheel, especially with my recent luck in that. And then it's just a question of what it would be. <coughs> <coughs> Athena. Right. There's something in my throat. I'm going to have to go get it up. It's painted. I'll be back. Okay. Hopefully we're all good now. Um, and we'll just continue. So, yeah. It's good to have a little break. Come back. Feeling refreshed. Let's see what we got now. Okay, the Athena back to back. Okay, so nothing's changed. It's cool though. They're watching over. They're watching over me. They know what's up. Bam. Come on, see the button combination. To get good crate luck. That I did in the video. Okay, man, it's letting me down a bit. It's double square, double circle, double triangle, X. And um, it's not providing. Let's do a nose crate. This has been scenes for me before. I got the White Striker Zombas doing a nose-only trade-up for the first time in my life. And then when I did it again, I've done it twice in my life. First time, White Striker Zombas. Second time, Grey Zombas. You can imagine when I saw the Grey, I freaked out a bit and thought, no way have I just done it white again. But, no. Nah. <clears throat> it was great. So, let's say painted. Ooh, painted certified. We're a third of the way through now. Just a few imports. No exotics or black markets to be seen. Come on. Come on, game. I think what I might do, because I'm, I'm a guy who likes round numbers and stuff, I've opened 170 crates. I think I might do, if this obviously gets a lot of support and stuff, I might finish up my victory crate sort of uh, campaign with a 30 superstition crate opening. Because then it'll be 200 crates open, and I think I'll be happy, to be honest, hopefully anyway, with what the 200 crates gave me. Um, unless I don't get a painted assault or black market in all these crates and those 30 crates, then I'd be kind of... Very much, eh, half and half. You know, getting a Stormwatch and a White Infinium is great. Um, but other than that, it's not a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. Oh, a Nipple Wheel. Oh, there's the Stormwatch. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's just keep trucking away. We'll start on the Nipple Wheel. We'll start for a, for a few crates. We'll start on what we got in the previous crate. Um, that's something I like to do as well. A little superstition for you. If you want to try that out. Okay. And there's an Infinium wheel. Okay, cool. We'll start on that. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, bam. Start on that. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. I can't believe my first 
And I think only very rare trade up. Nah, it can't be Moni. I must have done some in the last video. Was a white werewolf as well, like on the night of the update. Uh, it took me like an hour from when the crate came out to get the white werewolf. How cool is that? That's cool. I'm still yet to do a video with that. It's just there's so much going on. It's been so busy. I haven't had time. I'll probably do one on the way back from Iceland. So after the trade ups in this crate opening, maybe I'll have a better mystery decal or the gold explosion. And I can do a proper victory loadout car video. That would be super cool. I like imagine having, say, the trigon or the chameleon. Uh, and the Toon Gold Explosion, or something like that, uh, as well as the White Infiniums and the White Werewolf. That would be, that would be super cool. That would be like everything I need from this crate. <laughs> <coughs> and I get it all myself as well, which would be nice. Mosha, pass the Toon, pass the Infinium, give us the Mosh, the Mosh Pit. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's go right here. Come on. Come on, boys. Feeling good. I feel fine. And Athena. Ooh. Interesting. I'm getting that quite a lot today. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, to be honest. Painted. Okay. It's not a lot. We're still not halfway through yet. And when you're in the first half, literally anything's fine. Literally. Like in Rocket League, I don't really care what happens in the first two and a half minutes of the game because anything that happens in the first half, either against you or for you, can happen the other way around in the second half. Like even if you're 10 0 down in the first half, you could do it in the second half. You have just as much time as them. So, obviously, that's wishful thinking, but you get what I mean. So, the first half really isn't as important or critical to me because, you know, you get another chance, which is <laughs> which is great. And it's a Mr. Monsoon. That cloud's looking at me. I don't like it. I <sighs> Come on, Mr. Cloud. Six more crates. Oh, I need to start on the Mr. Monsoon. That's what I'm not doing. I need to start on what I got before. Now, this would be a sick crate because Psionics are hearing me right now. And I wasn't doing the superstition I said, so I understand this. It's so simple when you think about it, you know, crates. Rip comic. Okay. Oh, I get it. So we're working up. So we go rare, very rare. Now we're going... Okay, okay. I understand. Don't worry, Rocket League. I got you. We're going to be moving down the crate all the way down to ripped comic and start on the ripped comic in the crate as well. Seems pretty fitting for a good crate, don't you think? Maybe a Toon Trigon. Black Market beginning with T. Another ripped comic. Okay. That's not backwards progress. It's just, uh, you know... Start on a rip comic, end on a rip comic, that sort of thing. Just holding things, holding up proceedings. We'll go again. <laughs> now we start on a werewolf. Let's see if this is a trend. As if we're going to get a werewolf though, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep, we're right back down to the funny book. <laughs> I'm going to do another no-look crate right now. Spice things up. Okay, come on. Like most no-look crates I do, I get rares. And it's really disappointing because there's not even any element of like satisfaction after looking and just... Registering what's on the screen. So hopefully this is good. I'm not going to look until it's in the showroom. I don't think I heard any sort of lag. Because you can sort of hear it jump in your ears as well. See, like like that. I'm going to do another no look. I'm going to catch it off guard. Okay. Hopefully I hear some lag. No, I didn't. Oh, well. Oh, my days. The the no-look crates are bad. I'm doing it until I don't get a rare. I want to do a no-look crate where I look, and it's not a rare. This might this might take a while. <laughs> I've had some decent no-look crates, obviously, but like that just happens once you do the superstition enough. But this is just tragic. Come on. Come on, no peeking. No peeking. Really? Really? I'm still- I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on this. It feels weird filming a whole video with, like, your eyes closed, <laughs> essentially. But you guys can see what's going on. I'm just getting completely fisted right now. Come on. Just going to wait till it's in the showroom. You guys are probably laughing at me. It's like, haha, it's another rare. No. I, I was going to say, what I was going to say, what happens if I look? I bet you won't get a rare, but I'm going to stick to my guns. The guns are being stuck to, Rocket League. This is a battle between you and me. And I'm winning. <laughs> Realistically, you have all the money for the keys, so who's the one who's actually winning? But, you know. Come on. In the showroom. We're going to wait the whole time. Let's go. I mean, they're, they're painting the red decals. They're actually taunting me. Come on. Literally, this is madness. This is my longest rare streak, I think. And it's literally since I started clo closing my eyes. 
Maybe if I don't cover my eyes and just close them. Come on. It's just going to be a rare, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh! No! Okay, I'm not going to cover my eyes from the start. How's, it, how's your day going, guys? Mine's going great. I've got loads of rares in a row, and I can't even see them spin. This is actually madness. This is like a world record. Wow! I opened my eyes just before I got into the showroom, and we got a painted certified werewolf. Finally! Wow! Okay. About time. It's show off lime. So, not terribly great, but still great. Much better than the rares I was getting destroyed with. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's get back to these victory crates. Open them quick fire now. Oh, I can open my eyes. But then I didn't actually hear the lag there, so maybe I'm tripping. Like, sometimes you can hear it. If it lags as it's going over to the next one when it makes the little click sound, that lagged. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Like if, it, like, if it lags going over between one item to the next, you hear, like, a lag in the sound, but otherwise you might not. They look sick, though. The black nipple wheels. They look the best. I think. They are, they're, they're surely black. I can't be that, you know, blind. Yeah. <clears throat> in my opinion, they're the best nipple wheels in the crate. Like... I mean, red ones would be pretty cool, I'm sure, but they look super cool. So we got um, a painted werewolf and painted nipple wheels back to back. Cool with that, cool with that. Rocket League likes me looking at the screen. Apparently, I'm going to stare at the screen with intent. Ripped comic. Again, better than a rare. I just got completely destroyed. They're like, man, this guy's not even looking. Why should we give him the time of day? Why should we give him a good item if he's not even going to look at it, you know? Not going to appreciate what it is. But hey, black markets have been... Non-existent. Exotics have been scarce. Come on, game. To be fair, regular exotics I don't really want by this point. I get bored of them very quickly, you know. Um, I'd rather imports than exotics. So the fact that exotics aren't here, it's fine unless they're painted, of course. But black markets, if you want to make an appearance, I would sincerely appreciate that. <laughs> Come on, boys. And... Oh, tune sketch. There's the chameleon ah, right down there. I don't think this is going to be painted, you know. That's a white one. What? How, wait. Wait. Because I was always curious how this looked in white. Because this one is kind of white. Okay, so it changes the cloud color. Ah, okay. That's quite cool. Alright, we got a titanium white tune sketch. I was, I was going to say, I saw that was, I think, the most valuable tune sketch. And I was like, how can that be the most valuable? Because the colours that change are just like the bit inside the black. And that's white anyway. But on the actual boost, the clouds are black. Any, are black. So white is actually pretty cool. I understand that now. As you said, I am the white king. Sounds uh, a bit white supremacist kind of kind of stance on things. But hey, uh, the titanium white king in Rocket League. We got the white werewolf, the white tune sketch, the white nipper wheels, the white infiniums. Can we get anything else white? I sh can you get... If you can get white tsunami beam, we just need that. Then we have all the imports in white and the, the coolest exotic in white. Like, that's, that's pretty dope. Not gonna lie. That's crazy. Like, wow. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. And here we go. Ripped comic. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of trade-ups to do. Like... When you see no black markets and no exotics in a 100 crate opening, you know that the trade-up video is going to be good. You know it's going to be good. But hey, we've got 40 crates left. So, we still got plenty of time, you know? Plenty of time to do good things. The one thing I'm worried about, like, thinking about, because obviously, a 100 crate opening is a long render. Uh, I'm worried about how long all these videos are going to take to render, because I have to render uh, today, anyway, one, two, three, four, five videos. And... If they all take like over an hour, that's a lot of render hours. Oh, like it's a lot to handle. My PC will have a much deserved break <laughs> after. Actually, I've got to render six videos. Six videos. Man. So I could be rendering like all day. And then I've got to upload as well. So basically, I'm not going to be able to play any games. Like normally on, on days where I make videos, I like to play Fortnite, play Rocket League. I'm actually not going to have any time today. Ah, uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> And I've got to sort out travel insurance, all that stuff. It's it's a dodgy time, but hey, I'm loving it. Being busy is great. The editing grind is real, very real. Um, but hey, you do it because you love it. And that's true. 
ripped comic at least. There we go. There we go. Then obviously at the end of this video, I'll do the quick maths to determine how many trade-ups we'll actually get to do um, in tomorrow's video. So you know what to expect, and so I know what to go into the video thinking. So I'm not just saying random things that aren't true. <coughs> Funny book. That's good. You know, I love that. Silex, so remember you made that tune sketch painted before, so I know you're listening. Um, so don't, don't don't leave me hanging. They might be listening and just decide not to give me anything. That would certainly show that they were listening. <laughs> Doesn't mean they have to obey me. All right, the nippers. <clears throat> but then again, like, yeah, we got the white tune sketch, the black nippers. They're quite good. The other painted tune sketch. <clears throat> but I'm still holding out for a black market, honestly. Man, the rares are real. The rares are so real. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's cool. We've got 30 crates. What am I, what am I worried about? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and. Nippers again. Ah, I mean. I mean, it. <sighs> Not great. Not great at all. Come on, game. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. I believe in you, Psyonix. Nipper wheels again in between imports. Come on. You need to believe. You need to believe in yourselves. Guys, if you haven't already hit the like button on the video, you need to do that right now. Right now. 30, final 30 crates. Help me out. The first 70 we can almost forget. It's all about these final, this final 30. And we're starting off with a funny book. That is not great. <laughs> Come on. Please. Please. Getting so many painted decals there. Like, so many. Come on. Hit us with the good stuff. Tell you what is funny. Is that I'm surprised that um, Rocket League haven't done another double painted weekend since the last one. Like, I think it's been a long time. Like, a couple months. I mean, I, I haven't actually needed it, it seems, like, in my trade-ups especially. Like, imagine if I did the trade-ups where I got 46 painted exotics in the trade-ups, load of which were white Zombers and white Dracos. Imagine if I did that on double painted, and it was just literally a times two amount, and I got just literally double the amount. That would be mental. That would be crazy. Nearly 100 painted exotics in one opening. That would be nuts. That would be record-worthy. I think, to be honest, I think 46 painted exotics is definitely up there with... With the records, I think. Yeah, it must be. It must be somewhat close. Um, but hey, let's keep going. 26. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh my gosh, the 18. To be fair, we haven't got that too often this crate opening. Um, we haven't got the Balakara wheels really at all. Well, at all, to be honest, so. Let's start on them. Give them a chance. Give us the tune. That, the tune, the trigon, the chameleon, one of those three black markets. Any black market I don't have would make this video worthwhile and would make it exciting. But right now, it's just rares. <laughs> I mean, we got painted stuff. It's all good. Like, But you understand. We're getting a lot of unlock failed. Rocket League, like, slow down, dude. You're opening way too many crates. We can't keep up. Come on, give us... Give us the good stuff. You know you want to. Ha, ha. Woo! <laughs> I'm pumped! <laughs> it's just got to be being positive. Like, honestly, I watched um, Floomp's video, uh, How to Play Rocket League Like John Salmon. I think that was the title. And um, it was genuinely inspiring. Like, and that and the Gfinity experience where I went to the arena and played with Mark and Max on the main stage, it really just reminded me, like, and also playing in the tournaments as well, even when, like, we get beaten. Like, if you have fun... It's actually great. So, like, you just got to keep positive. And that's what John's so good at, keeping positive. And, like, even if you're losing, it's, it is hard in the moment. But, like, if you can come back from that and be laughing and enjoying the game, then, which we'll see in tomorrow's video, actually, like, it's generally, it's a great time. And it really shows you, like, how good Rocket League is. Like, it's a great time and stuff. So, yeah. Like, it's good. It's sick. So, let's just, let's, let's keep going. Keep enjoying it and stay positive. Funny book. Because if I don't get anything in these 100 crates, it's fine. i got to give someone else the luck. And like I said, if I always have a, if I have a bad crate opening and it's a big one, that means the trade-up session is going to be scenes. And hopefully, 
we stick at that. But we're in the final 20%, final fifth of the crates right now. And we're really looking for these black markets. But if I don't get it, I'm not going to be too bummed out. We got Balakara wheels. So yes, that's okay. To be honest, not great. <laughs> um, that's like any other item to me right now. But hey, I'm sure Rocket League think they're doing me a favor with that. Boop, boop, boop. Mess with the music tracks in the bottom corner. <laughs> the music track crate. Actually, I'm going to do that from the beginning. I'm going to call it the DJ crate. The DJ superstition, which is where you like you, you flip the tracks over and over again. That's an interesting superstition. Don't know if anyone's done that. Okay, so we literally... Or we could call it the jukebox crate. You know, where they flick through the songs on the jukebox and they can never decide. And you're just like flicking through the little, like, the songs. Balakara again. Interesting. Maybe it's pronounced not pronounced Balakara because there's a little accent on the A which might mean something else. But hey, let's keep doing the jukebox crate. Got all these songs in the bottom right doing, of course, the advertising for these musicians. <laughs> Getting their, their mixtapes on the video. Toon Sketch. This is a decent little crate. If I did have the music turned up, though, this would be very AIDS. So <laughs> if you do want to do that, turn it down. Toon Sketch. Nice. Let's keep going. Until we get something bad, I'm going to keep doing this crate. In the same way I did the no-look crate until we got something good. I'm going to keep milking this for all it's worth. The jukebox slash DJ crate. Okay, we're going to stop that right there because we've got the Mr. Monsoon. But there is the tune. I would like the tune while playing these tunes. Oh, <laughs> 15 more crates. Let's go. No look again. Oh, I heard a lag. I heard a lag. I heard a lag. I might be tripping. I heard lag. Oh. See, then I actually heard the lag. That was kind of sick, but. Huh? Pink. You wouldn't know. What? What? I need to. I need to just see this side by side. I know I'm colorblind, but... First of all, what element of the wheel is pink? Second of all... That's identical. That's even worse than the orange roulettes. I see no change whatsoever. None at all. I actually, I can't believe that. We've just got the luck of a painted exotic and we can't enjoy it. Because, I mean, I did say Psyonix, if you're hearing this, painted exotic or black market. So maybe they don't, they want me to have a bad day. There's, I can't get over this. The orange roulettes, even I saw a tiny change. The, the, like, the painted orange one was a bit like darker and more saturated. This is identical. I just I just equipped them. I do not I want to unequip those right now. They're the normal ones. Like that's identical. Like I, I saw it come up and I couldn't even I don't think anyone could tell you what colour that was supposed to be. I mean that is that is obscene. Not scenes, obscene. Like maybe they're supposed to be like a pinky colour, but either way, I can't tell any any sort of difference right there if you if you show me the original then show me them and said what color are they i'd have no clue i would say i i guess i would say sky blue or something because i i I, <laughs> I don't even know what i'd call them i don't know pointless that's what i'd call them i've seen videos actually like saying the most pointless wheels in rockley like orange dracos it's mostly the orange ones and the fiery looking wheels but like orange roulettes orange dracos they look very similar but you can see a slight change orange is usually a bit more saturated a bit thicker if you will that was the same i swear it's the same with the white nipple wheels like i mean th there's a little bit of a change there it gets a bit brighter which is kind of cool like fair enough but those that's un unreal that's unreal <laughs> My gosh. I'm probably going to put that in the title somewhere, like, like questioning it. So I'll probably put a pinned comment saying, skip to half an hour into this video and let me, tell me, like, tell me your opinions. I'm not going to let people, I'm not going to try and get people to search through a hundred credit opening for something like that. But I'll just say, like, go to 32 minutes in or whenever it is and just give me your opinions on that. And I, why would Rocket League do that? I want to see another painted Balakarte wheel, to be honest, or Balakarte wheel. That's cool. Tsunami being painted certified. Let's check that out. 
because I want to see if maybe they just none of them change with like paint. We got the striker uh, tsunami beam and the aviator orange because that is mental. That's actually crazy. All right, let's open these crates. The victory crates. The final 10%. The final countdown. The top 10 crates of the video. <laughs> Number 10. Bam. Here it is. Oh, okay. I thought I saw a bit of lag. Luminous is something we haven't seen a lot of in this crate opening. Considering it's a very rare, like all the others that we've been getting loads, like the Ripped Comic, the Nipper Wheels. We've seen that like two, maybe three times. That's quite mad. Compared to the others, we've got Ripped Comic must be at least 10 times. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Athena again. There's loads of Athenas on the screen right now. <laughs> All right, it's cool though. It's cool. It's weird. Like I actually, I, I closed my eyes and I heard the lag. I want to look straight away, but if I did, I would have been just as disappointed because I I couldn't tell the difference. And I know that's not just a colorblind thing. That was so similar that you guys are, you just have to agree with me there. <laughs> Unless you guys like, are you kidding? It's totally different. Then I'd feel bad. But to me, that's the same. Painted again. Seven more to go. Seven more. I'm so not looking forward to how long this video is take, gonna take to render as well. Um, on a, on a tight schedule like today, it might even have to be an overnight render. I d I don't know to be honest. Hey, we'll see. I've got plenty of time in the day to be fair. I've got 12 hours from here that I could still be up working and still get a decent night's sleep because it's only one in the afternoon. And if I have to stay up till 5 a.m., then I have to stay up till 5 a.m. So that's what we're gonna do. Tune sketch. A little bit of lag there, but I don't think it was painted lag because you can't see it in the crate. And painted lag's only definite when it's in the crate that you can see. But hey, it's painted certified anyway, so I, I, maybe I'll just shut up. But to my knowledge, it only really does the proper lag when it's painted in the crate. Do you think Rocket League added that on purpose to like let you know to hype you up and get like the double whammy hype? Like you're like, oh lag, oh painted. You know, like when I got the white Infiniums, there was lag, and basically every painted wheel is lag. Yeah, let's go. It's weird though, because that wasn't always a thing in the game, but like a few months ago, it came in to play. And I started noticing, because I got so many painted exotics and painted wheels, I started noticing that there was lag without fail every time. And uh, yeah. Okay. Final three, man. Well, a painted exotic. Just the most ridiculous painted exotic I've ever seen. Tsunami B. We've got plenty of imports, um, to be honest. So uh, that's cool. Let's see what this one's going to be. Normal. All right, two more. If you can't get a black market, give us a couple more imports. That'd be cool. Another werewolf, maybe. Haven't, haven't really had many of them. Oh, oh my gosh. In between the two and Tsunami Beam, we get the Athena. Ay, ay, ay. That's not... That's not what you want at all. Final crate of the video. Can we get a black market on the last crate? Can we please? All right, let's go. Oh, it lagged a bit, but it's an 18, so that's fine. Okay, we're going to do quick maths and uh, find out how many trades we're going to get to do. Okay, so... Right, let's go. We got... Uh, I'll trade up all these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, so that's 55. Uh, yeah, 55, I think. So that's uh, 11 very rares we can add to the tally. And uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 35, 46. We'll keep a few painted wheels, so probably 8 imports. All right. And we've got 21, 29. So we could do five, we trade up a load of painted things, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll probably do four import trade ups and just trade up the worst paint. Oh, we trade up the duplicate forest screen tune sketch. But then again, we might get something sick painted. So we're going to do a load of trade ups and eventually four import trade ups for chances at hopefully painted Infinium wheels or perhaps a Balakara wheel to see if all the painted wheels are as whack as that pink one. But either way, that is going to do it for this video. Once again, shout out to Logo for making this possible. You can check them out in the description. Use code PIXEL for 6% off your purchase. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel. You've been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.